Screw YouTube, you know. It's your boy Violet TV, bro. We back with another banger, man. You know what I'm saying? More bangers, more me. You know? But. Today we here reacting with I made Minecraft mobs better. I don't know what that means. So, we're about to see what's up with this. Uh, you know, if you guys like the content, man. Um, you know. Just comment down below, drop a like, man. Um, subscribe. I appreciate all you got, all the new subscribers. We hit 300 followers today, you know. On our way to 1K. Let's check it out. Minecraft mobs have been the same for years, so today Facts. I'm going to be upgrading different Minecraft mobs and adding them to the game. There are a ton of mobs in Minecraft, so I'm going to be picking 8 of my favorite mobs and then adding some new variants of them to the game. And we'll start with some iron golems. First, I added the classic diamond golem. You can get this guy by placing an iron golem formation except you use diamonds instead. And once this guy is spawned, you are able to hire him for one diamond. After that, you so have I your own diamond that? bodyguard that will follow you around anywhere and keep you safe. Next, we we have the netherite golem and spawning him is the same except it's netherite you can only spawn this guy in the nether and the difference between him and the diamond That's golem tough. is you can't tame him instead he just tries to kill you the second he spawns if Bro, you so do kill the netherite golem you only get one netherite back is so this basically he is what? useless unless you want to start a golem fighting ring or something the furnace golem is spawned using furnaces obviously and he's probably one of the most useful golems i added if you right click this guy with an item that needs to be smelted he will smelt it for you instantly you can also kill him if you're a hater and he drops one coal block. But you have to be careful while fighting him because he shoots fireballs at you. Well, they don't really work like fireballs, but you get the point. The last golem is the blood golem. The blood golem spawns anywhere around the map at any time, and if you couldn't tell already, he's a boss. This is why. He does 10 hearts no matter what. Even if you have full protection for netherite armor, That's you're still cat. dead. You might try to kill the blood golem with arrows, but you will find that that also doesn't work. The only actual way to kill the blood golem is by using cactuses. So basically, you're dead if you run into this That's guy. Stupid. Now that we have a bunch of new golems, it's time to add some villagers for them to protect. The golden villager is the first on our list. If you end up finding this guy in your village, you'll notice a golden trail coming from behind him. Now, usually a golden trail. Bro, how be did bad, you but make in this? this? Case, it's actually good because this guy is basically an infinite gold source. You can also <laughs> right-click him for some gold ingots, punch him for some gold blocks, or kill him for a notch apple if you're feeling evil. I also added the king villager because I figured the village needed. How can he a add king this? Villager is also the only villager in the game that will fight you, but of course he only fights if you hit him first. If you kill the king, he drops a king's crown, which when you wear it gives you some pretty good effects. That's it also tough. covers half your head, but we'll just ignore that part. The next villager is the <laughs> homeless villager, and you might homeless. be wondering why I added a homeless villager, because that's basically what a nitwit is. The difference between them is that this villager can beg for <laughs> emeralds, spare and upon giving him please. emeralds, something Bro, happens what? that you might not in expect. Minecraft? I guess we now know how Bro, this guy's became for a change king. The last Minecraft. villager is the no blood villager, who isn't technically a villager. The buff villager is very strong, and as you can see, he also likes to fight everything. If you do kill the buff villager, you get nothing, so honestly, I would just stay away from this guy. He isn't worth it. For the Max. next mob, I added some zombies so the villagers and golems can have an enemy. I added four zombies, and I started off simple with the Alex zombie. The Alex Herobrine? zombie doesn't do anything special. It's just Girl a regular Herobrine. zombie with an Alex skin. You might also notice that her arms don't go up like an actual zombie. For some reason, the custom zombies just don't do that. But honestly, it makes them look more scary, so I'm fine yeah, with it. The next zombie is the more. nether zombie, which is supposed to set you on fire, but just doesn't. This zombie can be found in all the different biomes in the nether, and upon killing it, you get a blaze rod, making him actually pretty useful. Nether. He does a lot more damage than a regular zombie, though, so I would definitely be careful of this guy. Another zombie you should be careful of is the Ooh. demon zombie. This guy can spawn anywhere, Sorry and he wields yawning, two bro. netherite swords tired. just to be intimidating. He speeds up whenever he attacks you, and he does a lot of damage, what especially kind of with zombie no is that? The demon zombie actually has a lot of Bro bones, has and every time blocks. you hit it, zombies will spawn as backup. If you do manage to go through the pain of killing this guy, he will drop a netherite ingot, so I would say it's definitely worth blocks. it to take a fight with him. Two the last zombie I added is the snow zombie. Obviously found in cold biomes, this guy creates a trail of snow underneath him wherever you walk. Bro and when he attacks walker. you, he will actually throw snowballs at you. Totally an original mob design. If you kill this zombie, you will get some frozen flesh, and upon trying to eat this, you will realize it doesn't work. You actually have to smelt frozen frozen flesh into rotten flesh using a furnace wow. or a furnace golem if you happen to find one. Now that we've made That's all these tough. mobs, it's time Bro, to add some animals, Minecraft so next I made some cows. I decided to make the first cow just a default cow, except it's black and white. But after that, I added everyone's favorite flower cows. I added the moolip and the moobloom, which both can spawn inside wow. of flower forests. If you 
milk the Moolip, it will give you Moolip milk, and if you milk a Moobloom, you get Moobloom milk. The Moolip milk is beneficial to drink, as it gives you strength and regeneration for 30 seconds. But the Moobloom milk, on the other hand, doesn't really do the same what thing. The I mean, it's your Moobloom? fault if you drink this anyways. This does not look like something you should drink. The next cow is the evil cow, who likes to hurt you. That's really it. He also Bro, drops redstone, which is, is supposed menace. to be blood, because he's sort of like a blood cow. And then I also added the ghost cow. The ghost cow is one of the most interesting mobs <laughs> I've added so far, as he's able to fly. Well, he's kind of able to fly, Sorry even though this is more like man. hovering. The ghost cow is also aggressive like the evil cow, but another interesting oh, thing is you're able to ride him. Okay, I still died while riding him. That doesn't make any sense. If you have a ton of golden apples, you were able to ride him, is what I meant to say. If you've been playing Bro, Minecraft for a while, you're probably familiar with the blue creeper skin. So I decided to add the blue creeper to the game next. You can find a blue creeper in snow biome. What's only. special about you kill this guy, he gives you a oh, TNT. Shit. He blows up like a normal creeper, except for some reason he has no animation and is also able to move while exploding. I'm honestly not sure how to fix That's that, scary. but it makes the creepers more dangerous, so That's it's honestly a good glitch. Good the cactus creeper is another type of creeper that I added just because it looks funny. You. Like imagine walking through a desert biome and then this happens. Since the creeper was made from a messed up pig originally, it only makes sense to be in the game. The pig creeper is insanely fast for some reason, and if you want some Wait, of that speed for yourself, you can actually eggs. ride the pig creeper the just like saying? you can ride a normal pig. Just be careful while riding in survival or this might happen. The skulk creeper can be found in the skulk? deep dark and it infects anything it stands on, kind of like a snow golem but with skulk. If you kill a skulk creeper, all you get is some skulk veins. But this skin is definitely one of the best looking mobs so far, so I still added it. The last That's creeper tough. is the noob creeper, which is the only Bro, creeper that doesn't look explode. Look the noob creeper doesn't really <laughs> do anything and it only has half a heart, so it only takes Bro, one look punch at to him, kill. Bro. He also drops a Bro, flower and you kill him. That's it. The chicken has been in the game for a long time, so let's make some chickens next. First, I had to add the best mob of all time, a duck. The duck is impossible to kill Morgan in duck. order to prevent duck violence. And if you give it some bread, you can actually hire one of these guys to take out some mobs for you. I also added a dodo bird as another type of chicken. Bro, I'm pretty sure I made it ow. so the dodo bird can't do anything at all because apparently they were stupid. So since they do nothing, I decided to make them drop a notch apple if you're okay with making them extinct again. The nether chicken spawns in the nether and That's he's mainly tough. found in soul sand valleys. If you get in a fight soul with a nether sand? chicken, you'll find he sets you on fire when he hits you and after killing another chicken you get nothing i'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen but i'm leaving it that way he'll just be annoying since there is a nether chicken this? i also made an ender chicken which spawns in the end but also in the overworld just like a normal enderman ender chickens make the same sounds as enderman and when you kill one of them it drops an ender pearl as well the only difference is the bro, ender chicken doesn't teleport Minecraft, away bro. he doesn't know how to do that next i added some spiders to the game and somehow these were some Minecraft, of my favorite bro. mobs this spider is from minecraft dungeons and it's called a cave spider so i just named it a cavern spider it looks kind of like a skulk spider cavern so i made cave, it spawn yeah. in the deep dark you know and saying? i also made it give you the darkness effect just like the warden when it attacks you the next spider is a toxic spider which is basically toxic. just a cave spider but it can spawn anywhere i will say it moves much faster than a <laughs> cave spider though Bro, which i don't know what? if that's a good thing i'm also nah, pretty sure cave spiders no. don't give poison too so this guy actually might be a little op the reaper spider is something you don't want to run into boss. which is why i gave it a boss bar to let you know if it's in your area the reaper spider is the same as the toxic spider except it does more damage and when it bites you it gives you all of these effects the fact that bro. steve is able to survive a bite from this guy just proves he's built different because yes, this spider sir. is insane one of my favorite spiders is the ice spider which spawns in cold biomes and instead of potion effects he just freezes you upon biting you i also just noticed these spiders do an absurd amount of damage this guy three hit me the last spider no i way. added is the skeleton spider and this one is interesting because he, acts like a skeleton. Skeleton he actually spider. shoots arrows at you well it's more like throwing them at me because they look like this but that's now that our like this, game is bro. looking like australia i decided to move on to some wardens first i added the blood warden if you hit the blood warden there's a chance of him spawning a warden to fight for him as backup and if he hits you you get teleported to a random area around the warden okay i actually just noticed that his wardens attack him so maybe this isn't the best design bro, anyways he drops a totem when you kill him but you're probably not going to be able to do that at least without the help of the other wardens a warden you will be able to kill though is the new warden the noob warden is similar to the Bro noob smiling. creeper except you can tame him using skulk catalysts you have to be careful about where you bring your noob warden though because one hit from anything and he is dead the last warden what? and the last mob of the video is probably the best mob of ever warden added. Is one it's shrek time. i don't know why Bro i added, added shrek. shrek i just saw him and thought it was funny but basically shrek Bro spawns in a swamp shrek and he is passive minecraft, until he finds Bro. you in his swamp now that we've added all these mobs the question is does this make minecraft better yes. i don't really know if better is the word but the game Makes is definitely a lot more interesting.
interesting yeah, with all fact. these new mobs in the game, so I'm going to have to say yes, Minecraft is better. Yeah, fact. Go if to Dave and Buster. If you guys enjoyed this video, man, drop a like real quick, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's your boy Ballad TV, bro. Um, catch you guys on Juneteenth, man. Uh, happy Juneteenth for my people watching. I don't really know much about it, man, but uh, there will be like five videos dropping on the date of June 19th. Just letting you guys know. Um, to catch up for all the days I missed, man. So, you know, I'll pay you guys back. You know what I'm saying? But it's your boy, Ballad TV. Ballad TV, bro. And we are...